Hey guys, today we're going to talk about SCSS, also known as Sassy CSS, and how this works inside Service Portal. SCSS is a server-side style sheet language that produces valid CSS, but does add some pretty powerful set of features, including nesting, variables, mixins, operators, and functions. But for today, we're going to primarily focus on variables and how we can use these inside of our widgets and themes. So to get started, let's talk about how CSS works inside Service Portal. Here on the slide, we have a list of all of the areas where we can enter CSS that's going to be included onto the page, starting first with the portal and the theme, which is where we're able to add CSS variables. And a quick note here, please do not write your CSS rules inside of the variable fields, as this does get duplicated onto the page for every place where the variables are being used. So moving on, uh, we have Bootstrap and the default styles, which is being run through uh, the SAS processor, which means any of the variables we define will take effect inside of those style sheets. Next, we have CSS includes. Now note here that this is not being run through the SAS processor, which means we are not able to use any of our variables inside of the CSS includes on the theme. And then lastly, we have the page, the widget, and the instance, which is the primary area where we're going to be using those variables. All right, here I've put together a quick widget, which will help demonstrate how variables can be used inside widgets in Service Portal. So here we have h1 with hello world, and I have this tied to a class where we're setting the color. And if we take a quick look, you'll see hello world in blue. All right, so now let's update this to use a SAS variable. So I've already gotten started here. So first off, let's uh, take our SAS variable, uncomment it, and we're gonna move it down to here. This is the color orange, and you'll notice here the default attribute that we're setting. I highly encourage you guys to use the default attribute. And what this means is, unless it has already been set earlier. So if you remember the order in which CSS was loaded on our prior slide, you'll notice that the first one was the portal and then the theme. What this is saying is we're setting the SAS title color variable to orange unless we had set it in the theme or unless it had been set in the portal record. All right, so now that we've set this, let's take a look at what this looks like. And now, hello world is orange. So now let's take a look at what happens when we set this variable on the theme record. So I already have the SAS variable in here and we're gonna change it to use the color green. And you'll notice the color has changed. So this is really great because this gives us the ability to allow the widget to set the default colors and state, but we're able to override it from the theme record. And now imagine a scenario where uh, you built out a theme that was used by multiple portals where you know a particular widget was rendering in that color. But then the perhaps the fourth or fifth portal wanted to deviate from the rest and be slightly different but still share that same theme. So wouldn't it be great if that portal could override the defaults? So let's see what happens here when we set the variable on the portal record. And now as you can see, hello world has turned red. And again, this is because we use the default attribute, which is allowing the first one to set the variable to take precedence, which in this case was the portal record. Now that's all that we have time for today in this video, but perhaps we can cover some additional features of SAS in uh, our next series of videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Thanks and happy service portaling.